G'day, Adrian here, just talking to you today with another segment of How's the Market in Wollongong. Okay, so here we are, October 2013. The market for the spring market is definitely in full swing. As predicted in the last couple of months, we saw that the Wollongong market in particular, and this is really transferring over the whole state, but particularly Sydney and more immediate now in Wollongong, that over the last couple of months, the number of properties that have been on the market have been declining at a rapid rate. And it's really swayed the pendulum to a seller's market. With the fact that interest rates are now the lowest in 60 or 70 years, it's definitely fueled the market now where there's a lot more buyers than there are sellers. However, here we are, it's spring now, and as the tradition sort of holds, I guess, there are a lot more properties coming on the market. All the owners are now saying, well, let's get the property ready for sale and put it on the market, and we've seen a large influx of properties that have come onto the market in recent weeks. So, my tip for you guys out there today is that if you're a buyer in the marketplace, there isn't that much for sale at the moment. Spread across the whole marketplace in Wollongong, like I said, there is an influx of, of properties that have come on the market. However, as a buyer, there is stiff competition out there. So, get all your ducks in a row and get your finance approved, choose a solicitor, and that way when you find a property that you love, you can act on it swiftly. But tread with caution, don't pay over the top prices in fear that there's not gonna be another property. Now, in, in my experience, there's always another property around the corner. There is a lot more competition at the moment, but choose wisely, do your research, and make educated offers in the market. For sellers out there, it is now such a great opportunity to sell your home. Now, trying to remove myself as an agent, there really is such really good indications that we're in a stronger seller's market with low interest rates, high buyer demand, little property on the market. All of those are key indicators that we're right in the midst of a seller's market. And now coming up towards the Christmas time, you really have to start thinking very strategically now, working backwards from about the middle of December, getting your property ready for sale and on the market with a nice marketing campaign to attract the right buyer and get your property sold and settled by Christmas time. If I can just bring a few statistics to light, the research is showing that the Sydney market in particular is growing in leaps and bounds. The latest stats coming out of RP data show that the average sale price in Sydney has grown by 8% from this time last year. Wollongong in my eyes has always been about six to 12 months behind the Sydney market. So that being said, there's still some really good opportunity for capital growth in Wollongong. And for the buyers out there, some really good buying opportunities now to get into the market and still earn a really solid capital growth over the next 12, 18 months. For investors out there, the market at the moment is definitely proving to be a little bit tricky to try and get some really good returns. That being said, I find that the rental market is really softening because a lot of tenants that were paying good high rents in the last 18 months or so are now swinging their, uh, their attention, I guess, to buying a property because their rent that they're paying on a weekly level is almost the same as the mortgage repayments would be to buy the property that they live in. So I see that there's a huge trend now with tenants now opting into heading into the market to buy a property. That is also reflected in the numbers of vacant properties that are there at the moment and the amount of time that it's taking to rent a property. Typically speaking, this time last year, one or two weeks on the market for a rental property would be a long time and now we're seeing two, three and four weeks vacancy to find the right tenant for a property. So if you're an investor out there, I would definitely crunch the numbers and do the, the figures quite wisely because I would factor in a three to four week period where you may not receive rent. Coming up towards Christmas time, particularly here right in the city of Wollongong, we're now going into a period where rental properties are now becoming vacant. 
Tenants are now leaving, particularly if they're overseas students that might be studying. Their studies are, are coming to an end and they're heading back overseas and leaving their rental properties behind. So we now see a bit of a glut of rental properties coming on the market. So a few things there for you to consider if you're an investor. So there you have it. If you need any more help or hints, please subscribe down below. Stay up to date with my YouTube blogs. To contact me, simply go to my website, www.adriandomico.com.au. Chat to you soon.